Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. I wish I had hair like Rick Perry. <laughs> I wish I had a big mansion. I wish I had an H1 Hummer so I could drive around town and look down on it. I wish I were the CEO of General Electric. I wish I owned your business. Envy. Take a deep drink into my definition of envy. Envy is the misunderstanding of someone else's circumstance. Listen to that again. Envy is the misunderstanding of someone else's circumstance. Have you ever been envious of someone and thought, wow, well, they have a great job, and then they got fired? Or they had a big house, oh my God, that's awesome, I want it. And they were foreclosed on. It's something that we all struggle with, and I'm a sports fan, so I tend to envy and appreciate great athletes. December 30th is the birthday of probably the best NBA player playing to get today. His name is LeBron James. LeBron grew up in Ohio, played for the Cleveland Cavaliers, and is a tremendous player. Last year, he was going to make a decision. Do I stay in my home state or do I leave? He put together a convoluted one-hour special called The Decision, like we really cared. It showed his narcissism and self-importance. He decided to move from Ohio to the Miami Heat and practically guaranteed they would win the NBA championship. As a lot of you know, they lost to the lowly, listen to this Spurs fan, the lowly Dallas Mavericks. LeBron looked like a total knucklehead. December 30th is the birthday of probably one of the best golfers in the last 12 years, Tiger Woods. I was envious of Tiger Woods. I, four years ago, I wished I could be like him, making literally hundreds of millions of dollars, a beautiful family, a beautiful wife. He had the world in the palm of his hand. I don't envy him anymore. His family is destroyed. His spirituality is probably destroyed, his knees destroyed, and he just fired his caddy that had been with him for 12 years. December 30th, the birthday of Kirk Bynum. And I know what you're thinking. Is it just a coincidence? that three superstars have the same birthday. <laughs> I may be a superstar in my own mind, but I think you are superstars. You have skills and talents that no one else on this planet has. You're not one in a million or billion. You're one in an infinitesimal number of people. Let's go back to that big house. What goes along with that that you'd be envious of? A big mortgage? Big electric bills? Big water bills? What about that H1 Hummer at $3.55 a gallon? Big insurance? Big gas bills? Big upkeep? What about being the CEO of GE, having to deal with attorneys all day? No offense, gentlemen. Or CPAs. No offense. 
Is that something you really want? Or what about working 50, 60, 70 hours a week? Is that something that we envy? I think it is a misunderstanding of someone else's circumstance. What about the President of the United States? Wouldn't you want to be the President of the United States? More power than anyone in the entire world. Have you seen the President the first day they go in office and then when they get out of office? That is a ton of stress. And it's something that I don't think I would wish on anyone. Several years ago I was watching an episode of The Twilight Zone. And you've seen the story before where the guy walks on the beach and he sees a magic lamp. And so he picks it up and he rubs it. And all of a sudden a genie pops out of the lamp. The genie says, I will give you three wishes. This particular gentleman, his first wish was all the gold in the world. The second was the most beautiful wife. He thought about his third wish. And he said, I want to be the most powerful man in the world. And the genie said, are you sure? He said, I want to be the most powerful man in the world. The genie snapped his fingers and the man was transported to World War II in the bunker of Adolf Hitler. The man turns around and the camera pans to his face. He is Adolf Hitler. A general hands him a pistol and he says, Mein Fuhrer, you know what you have to do now. Be careful what you wish for. Do you really want all the power in the world? Not too long ago, a young man lost his sight. And he was feeling very sorry for himself, which I think we all would. And his friend looked at him and said, Jimmy, snap out of it. You need to spend time looking at the gifts and talents you have and the things that you can do, not the things that you can't do. He handed the boy a recorder. And he said, I want you to record everything that you can still do. And I'm coming back tomorrow. His friend came back the next day and Jimmy was, was smiling. And he said, why are you smiling? Why are you so happy? And Jimmy looked at him and said, I listened to what you said. And I started recording the things that I can do. And my list is over a thousand items long. My wish is that I look in the mirror every day. Thank God I have that day and talents and gifts that I can share with the rest of the world. That's my wish and that's the wish that I have for you. Adam Tesman.